Five married couples who've lived together for over 50 years shared their secrets to a happy marriage. Here's what each couple considers to be most important. Tell us what you think, please. 81-year-old Charles and Anne have been married for 57 years. They believe that in a long, happy marriage, the most important thing is the division of responsibilities. Yes. Really? Of course. So I don't encroach on... Under no circumstance. And what does the division of responsibilities entail? I'm a breadwinner, and my wife is a housewife taking care of the children. Well, that would be ideal, yes. Next one is know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Yes, that is correct. Do you know your wife's strengths and weaknesses? weaknesses just between us. We've known each other for a long time. You've been married for 50 years and I've been married over 40. I know them very well so I don't touch them. Why is that? I'm afraid to. Afraid? Truly indeed. Is this how it should be? And this is how it should be. The third secret is the ability to accept the other's strengths and weaknesses. Yes, correct. You live with a person who is a whole system. It's a whole world through which you must see everything else. If this is how we live, in gentle contact, then is it possible to be together for 60, 70 years? As long as you want. And you call this a happy marriage? Well, if only we were brought up this way. Unfortunately, by the time we realize this, our life has gone by. Alas. Next, 90-year-old Mary and 91-year-old Charles have been married for 66 years. They say it's essential to discuss a joint future and to have common interests. What do you think about discussing the future together? Do you think it's important? It is important because it is a mutual future, a shared future. That's the key? Yes. It's not his or her future, it's always us in this together. Yes, indeed. Say we're going to have our kids or grandkids come to visit. Or we'd go out, take a walk around the block and so on. What else can you do at the age of 90? As you said recently, when people get married, they say, we're forever united together. That struck me. I even jumped. They have to talk about it often. Is this what talking about a mutual future is? Yes, because no matter what people do, they can live in different parts of the world, but they must share an understanding that they are united forever forever. Divorce is utterly unacceptable when children are involved. Next, John and Doreen married for 61 years. There should be a similar sense of humor. How do you like that? Well, we must understand each other because a sense of humor is very deep in a person. It distinguishes a person from an animal. Specifically a sense of humor? Yes. Thus, if you have the same take on humor, it brings them much closer. Next, 99-year-old Jack and 98-year-old Grace married for 74 years. This one's very cool. They say, we love each other just like that and consider our union truly harmonious. How do you feel about such views? Well, they have no deeper definition than just like that. This is, in fact, an already high level, of course. Really? That is, they don't analyze anything. There is no need for analysis. When there is a real connection and feeling, you can't describe it in any way. That's good. It's beautiful. And the last one, 87-year-old Angela and Brian married for 60 years. Tolerance, loyalty to their vows, and being able to accept the other's point of view. I want to understand tolerance. Well, this suggests they have not yet come to a true family. If they believe it is necessary to be tolerant, or faithful. They still have these definitions before them and they must fulfill them. While a true connection requires none of this, there you're already so glued to the other half that you can't even tell where one ends and the other begins.